Hey guys, check it out. I got my hands on the Sentinel Ryo from Ronin Warriors, aka Samurai Troopers, whatever you want to call them. This is the Inferno Armor. Oh yeah, my first one of them. Uh, gosh, after getting this guy, honestly, I wish I would have gotten all the other ones, but the Inferno Armor is so iconic. It's so cool. And this box is just awesome. I already did unboxing, so make sure to go and check it out. So let's dive right into the review. Okay, so this is what you're gonna be getting in the box. As you can see, you're gonna get Ryo. Uh, you're gonna be getting the Inferno armor, of course, with that dummy um, figure that they give you, so you can attach the armor, so it can sit. Yeah, it does come with that chair. By the way, um, you're gonna get four different faces actually it's five but one of them is on the armor um you're gonna get the swords of fervor of course and you're gonna get then single and the combined version you're also gonna get its chiefs which is a little bit weird i'll explain that later and you're gonna get um three pair of hands and that's pretty much all you're gonna get here and here you can see ryo Looking great. I don't like the screws on the pack, by the way, but the rest of this figure looks pretty darn nice. I mean, he looks like he did in the anime. The skin tone is the correct tone. Um, this is pretty cool. And the thing is that, remember, they have their normal armor, then they have this one, which is very cool that they actually, you know, gave you this one because I don't think. There's a point in the series where he actually wears just this for the Inferno Armor. He just, you know, turns it for the transformation. So now that we have seen Ryo, let's go and check out his articulation. So Ryo's articulation here, unarmored by the way, as you can see here, right that much, left that much, down that much, which is a lot, and up, which is really much that's great and by the way yeah the hair here doesn't really hinder it that much which is great now check how much articulation this arm has check it out there with the swivel of course that folds up and down goes up that much he does have butterfly joints by the way um, here you can see the elbow band, which is ooh, it's a lot, and it's solid, guys. This figure is solid. Of course, there's articulation, so on, it's on a bow joint. It's what you expect. Where it lacks is here the ab articulation. Like, there's really not a lot for down. As you can see there, for up, really minimal. I wish I had more. You can see that the legs can do the splits, of course. Check out the knee articulation here and check out how the knee works. That looks awesome. That looks great. I love how they did that and it's a solid joint, man. I love that. So articulation can only go up and you also have that little thing on the back. And of course, you guys already saw the boy joint there. But really solid articulation, really like it. Now Ryo does come with different faces, as you can see here, this is his happy face. This is his, you know, damaged face, which as you can see there, he does not look that happy, nope, sadly. And then we get here. This is his other faces, but there, as you can see, clearly have the mask on. And you cannot remove the mask. So, screaming face, but it's for the helmet only. This normal looking one, also for the helmet only, which looks great. I love the way it looks, I love the colors uh, that they use for the mask. It looks awesome. But, like I said, I wish they would have made it so. Um, you could remove the mask and just have the faces by themselves. I wish the mask would have been something that you just put up the actual helmet without having it be molded to the actual faces. I think they missed their chance there, sadly. And the other face is just black. 
you know, it, it, you guys will see it later when we, you know, when I show you the actual armor, you guys will see it. So, the sword! Let me show you how this sword looks. It looks great, honestly. It looks sharp, it looks pointy. It is pointy, by the way. Um, doesn't have anything on the bottom, because you can't combine this one. And, that's how you remove the blade. Now, another thing that I want to add is that the hilt does not have the red jewels that it has in the anime, sadly. And, that's the scabbard. Yeah, that's the sheath for the sword. It's that easy. It looks great. Um, but he shouldn't come with them. Let me show you how the dual blade or double blade works. You can put it like this, but as you guys can see, I did it completely wrong. <laughs> And I left that in intentionally because I wanted to show you guys. Yeah, you can do it both ways, but as you can see there, the handles are wrong. Yeah, you're actually supposed to have them like this. And that looks pretty darn awesome. So how do you get this there? Well, you're actually gonna slide it here on the hand. Yeah, this is how the instructions tell you to do it, which is really hard, honestly. So you do that and then you have to fight the thumb there, so the thumb aligns and there you go, that's how you do it. Weird, I wish they did it another way but oh well. Here you can see Ryo next to his Inferno Barber and they're both looking great. And yeah, that is the dummy figure body and there you can see the face that it, the other face that it comes with. So it's just black, dark. You're not supposed to see anything in it, it's supposed to be empty, and it looks pretty darn badass. The armor looks badass like this. So, let me show you more, because this is gonna be crazy. The dummy figure does have articulation, and is very minimal. The neck doesn't have any, body here doesn't have any, the arms only have this motion and a little bit there and that's pretty much all it has and as you can see the legs have nothing the ankles have nothing there's there is really nothing else and that's pretty much it how about we get me ready for the armor let's put it on first off you have to remove the head very important that you remove the head now that the head is completely removed, and you also have to remove the arm guards. So, let's get rid of the arm guards there. Now that the arm guards are gone, you're gonna put these ones there. Obviously, this is the first step to the armor. And let's put the little glove slash handguard there. And there you go. We're one step closer. Here comes the chest. You can put them either way, the front or the back. These ones, I think they have a little bit of magnetism to them. Just make sure they align properly. And then it should look like this. Just squeeze them a little bit so you get rid of the seam line and that's it. Looking awesome. Okay, now comes this part which is pretty tricky. This is the skirt area and this one is gonna take you a little bit because you have to make it so they align on the back and on the front and it has to be perfect it has to be a perfect alignment because if it's not the other parts that you're gonna put here the crush guard and the back guard it's not gonna look that good now call them crush guard because that's why it is <laughs> and back guard because hey, it's supposed to protect your booty but i like to start with the back first and yeah this might take you a bit but make sure you push it in there hard, that's not really bad, of course. And make sure the front is squeezed in there. And this one is hard as well because this one, if it's not properly, it's not gonna be there. 
perfectly but once you get it there it's there and you can see how I'm having trouble with it but there it goes there you go looks good and it has the articulation next up the shoulder pads pretty easy to remove but can be a pain to put on but I'm gonna show you a little trick to put them on pretty easy both well the, the ones that remove are easy to put back on but these ones are not now what are you gonna do as you can see they're the same for both sides you don't have to worry of putting one on the left and one on the right so what do you have to do here well you fold this down you pull the hand the arm down and then you just push down and I know it's gonna feel like it's gonna break but the actual figures it, it, it's gonna fit in there and there you go and there you have it and just do the same with the other one the hair comes here yeah the hair has to be there well it doesn't have to be there but you can display it with it or without it I like displaying with it because that's how it's supposed to be And now we're gonna put this face on. Okay, so these are the three pieces that you need for the helmet. So put the head in there. On the heads, make sure you push them in properly because sometimes they tend to slightly not go in there perfectly. And yeah, it can make it look like the helmet is a little bit split open. So make sure you got that, then you put the face mask on. And then you put the back part here, the decoration. And then you just, boom, you put it there. And that's it. The chin guards. And they're magnetic. You're just gonna put them there. Just, you just put them close and they're, you're gonna feel the back the pull on them. Uh, careful with the spikes, they're hard plastic and they can hurt you. And last thing, the feet. Yes, the feet. And how do you get them on? Well, you have to remove the other feet. Yeah, I was expecting these feet to be like something, you know, you put them over these ones. But no, you, you just have to remove them. You're basically giving him, giving him new toes. And yeah, that happens. That happens from time to time. I normally, um, for the video I did like this, but I normally put the feet on first and then put the chain guards later. And uh, I suggest you do it like that because the chain guards, like I said, it's hard, it's hard plastic. So it might hurt you. It might hurt you. This thing isn't messing around. I didn't get hurt or scratch or anything, but it does. So now that we got all of this, <laughs> this armor is gonna look awesome. Something that I forgot to show you, actually inserting this, um, the armor gives you an option to display with that or without it. Or with this part here, this piece is really small, make sure to take care of it. This is supposed to be used for when he is not wearing the helmet, um, but yeah, this is just a late entry in the video, honestly. And this is the full armor. Yes, this is what it looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed that little animation I did there. Pretty awesome. Hopefully YouTube didn't copyright strike the song. Um, but looking cool, ain't it? The pearl gloss, the pearlescent color looks great. The reds look awesome. The gold looks really darn nice. Uh, even the back of the armor looks good. The spikes, the Face, man, this armor looks so freaking badass. This is probably uh, one of my favorite armors since I was a kid. Because as a kid, I, I watched this show and I always wanted the white armor. 
you know, but back then the toys weren't that good and you can say, oh, but Bandai released her, um, gosh, I forgot the name uh, of the line they did. I think it was full something. Uh, whatever. They, they're not that good. They're, they're not that good, you know, compared to this. This Sentinel has really knocked it out of the park with this character in this line. They, they really outdid themselves here. Let's check out the articulation with the armor because it's a little bit different. Now, obviously, the uh, head has problems. Yes, yeah, so you can see there that for some reason um, the head doesn't want to stick there and it's just the chin guard. Yeah, the chin guard just doesn't allow it to go all the way down, so um, you're gonna have that problem. It's not gonna be that big of a deal, but you have to watch out for it. Now the shoulder pads give you a lot of range of articulation because they don't really hinder you that much. Check this out. It's pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing and like and you can move the inner one in and out. And of course you still have the swivel. You still have that elbow bend all the way. Of course the wrist on a bow joint that's not gonna change anything the chest is where it's gonna be a little bit stiffer you know go down a little bit up and <laughs> there goes the head popping up ah uh, it's that hair man that hair or i don't know it is that chin that just keeps hitting that area sadly but that's how it is in the series so yeah they did a good job recreating it. You can see the articulation here for the skirt, which I, I think I already showed you guys. And the knees, yeah, that happens. That happens. Sometimes the magnets don't make full contact, but it doesn't hinder it. He has his full range of articulation there. So that is pretty awesome. And the toe is pretty much the same. But yeah, that's the articulation with the armor. So, now that I pretty much showed you everything that I wanted to show you and talk about, let's go and check out some poses.
Okay, guys, let's get to some final thoughts. What do I think here? This is a critical fit. It has some problems, obviously, as you guys saw there. The chin guard hits the other area on the chest and it makes it so when you have the armor on, you lose a lot of the articulation up, I mean down movement. The midsection could have been way better. I wish it was better. And the other stuff is not really anything you have to be worried about. Just keep in mind that it, this figure is almost perfect. Now, I know what you're gonna say. Um, Zero, besides the faces, you know, that, that was weird that the faces, you know, they have the mask and you cannot remove them. Then the promotional images show them with a slit so you can move the face max up. Yeah, they did. They did show it that there was at least one of the images that you see the helmet from the bottom. You can see where the mask is supposed to slide in. So you will have all the faces, but I'm guessing they did it just so you have to buy the original one. The red one so you have all the faces basically uh, the other thing is the chiefs i know what you're say, thinking why are you mad that they came with the chiefs i'm not mad that it came with them i'm mad because it came with this it didn't come with what carries them in the anime white blaze basically dies and black blaze basically gives him his power everybody when white blaze turns into black blaze the swords are carried on black blaze side black blaze has uh, armor similar to the inferno armor and he's the one that carries it he's the one carrying the sword and this one doesn't have anywhere to put those chiefs so it's like Come on, man, you just have given me Black Blaze as well. Because that that's so cool that I, I hope they give us Black Blaze. I hope they do. I hope they do. I will buy it 100%. I don't care if I have to pay 150 US dollars for it. You know, that's the other thing with this figure. This, thing, this figure is expensive. Of course, I paid 125 US for it for a 6.4 inch figure. Um, the other thing is that it does not come with a ticklet stand. I don't know why, but for some reason, he does not come with the stand. He comes with the folding chair. I mean, I guess that's something. And I like that. I really enjoy that, that you can display him with the normal armor and the armor just resting there. And that is gonna be really cool to do a full display. You have all, all, all of them. You have the others. That's gonna be awesome. That's going to be so darn great, but yeah, uh, I really enjoyed it. I do have a little bit of a warning for you guys. Um, careful if it falls, because mine got a little scratch. You can see there that it has a little scratch there. Uh, that's actually from the armor part rubbing against that area, so it got a little white scratch there. I was able to fix it. I'll tell you with what. Black on the marker. Get the black on the marker and you just rub it up against it and it will cover it and you won't notice it. In fact, you guys probably didn't notice in a lot of the videos that I showed you guys a lot of the poses. Which is pretty cool. But yeah guys, that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.